So here is the addition of a thermo siphoning heater for my garage off of the wood stove. And you might ask why not just put the wood stove in the garage? Well, uh, I don't really trust it. <laughs> this is my first welding project. It's got a lot of gaps in it. It leaks smoke. It kind of billows when you open it a little bit. Um, if you don't have the damper open and I just don't really want it in my in my garage. So, uh, and plus, this is this thermo siphoning heater is something that I can take and put it anywhere. I can put it in the camper. I can you know I can take this whole setup with me. So, what it does is I got about 10 feet of copper tubing and made a coil out of it and put it inside of the chimney stove pipe there and drilled a couple holes and so it has an intake and a and an out and um, what this is doing and here is let me turn a light on in here here's the fan part so let me try and explain how this works what this does is there's water in this cooler here and the water is um, coming from here into following this hose into this box here and inside this box is a heater core off of like a Nissan or, or something like that <clears throat> and um, and then coming out of the heater core is this pipe which goes into the bottom of the coil here that's the, the cold water kind of intake into the coil as it goes into the coil it heats up and um, via thermodynamics it pushes that hot water up this pipe and back into the top of the cooler and it'll keep doing that until um, the water in the cooler and everywhere is all the same temperature and it's, I mean, you, you can't, you can hardly even touch this right now. It's so hot. It gets really hot, probably really close to 160, 170 degrees, maybe. Well, yeah, somewhere in there. Uh, it's hot. And uh, the water coming out of the cooler is hot. So going into the, into the heater core here. And then I've got a fan and back... And this is just from an old TV, uh, one of those big screen TVs that stands on the on the floor. You can pretty much get those for free these days. But anyway, that's where I got the fans from. You can use PC fans or whatever. But uh, this this fan is blowing in. The heater core is right here inside there, and then it's blowing out the front here. And that will heat this garage uh, pretty good. Um, I I did have a pump. I had this 12 volt pump. Oh, and this is the fans are just running off of a 12 volt battery here too, by the way. So you could take this, you know, and you could take this little box into your car or into your camper or wherever, as long as you're, and then you can just stick that coil in a fire or bring the the wood stove with you or whatever, um, whatever you want to do. And so I think that. Uh, I think that about covers it. I like I said, I did have this pump here, and this is a thousand gallon pump. Uh, I had that inside the cooler, and I was actually pumping the water through the system. But this thermo siphoning, it wasn't getting as hot. The water was only getting up to like 80, 90 degrees or something like that. It wasn't getting really hot, and um, now the water is getting up to about. It's about double. Uh, doing it this way through the heat, the thermo siphon, so uh, it's working pretty well. It heats the garage up. We'll see tonight how how well it heats up. But it's, I mean, uh, just with with the pump with the 80 degrees, it was doing pretty well. It was it was heating the garage. It was 49 outside, and the garage was 65, so it wasn't doing too terrible with the pump. And like I said, the water was about half as hot as it is now. Uh, doing it this way and plus this way I'm saving on electricity too because um, I'm not running the pump. I'm just running these two little fans 
I don't know how long those little fans will run off of that battery, but I bet it's a long time. And uh, I have the battery also hooked up to a trickle charger, so it, it seems to keep up. And, you know, you could, you could hook this up to a solar panel and solar panel to the battery and basically have heat and hot water unlimited. So, pretty cool process. Thought I would share. Um, it's if you know if this is this is kind of a a, uh, a prototype, kind of a test case. If you were to take this process and and make it a lot bigger, uh, the bigger wood burning stove, uh, you know, maybe a, an actual hot water heater, full size hot water heater, like an old one that you can just use for the water. Uh, to and you could heat the water with this process and then and then maybe put the radiator you you'd take like a, a full-size radiator or a you know coil off a refrigerator or something like that you could actually install that onto a furnace and uh, get the blower to heat your whole house and this process would be essentially free uh, if you're you know using a solar panel for power and you're chopping your own wood and stuff you could essentially heat your heat uh, hot water and and uh, your house for free so uh, kind of a kind of a neat thing so I thought I would share that thanks for watching click the like if you like it subscribe if you're new God bless and we'll see you next time